Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're talking about flashlights here. I have a couple bins. I have two of the three bins that I have and these are miscellaneous flashlights. I use these for comparisons and testing all the time. I figured I'd just kind of share this with you guys because someone asked me, eh, well, it wasn't recently, maybe four or five weeks ago, something like that. They're like, oh, how do you store your flashlights? I literally have my flashlights everywhere just like I have my knives. I have them all over my house. I have them in you know, both my wife's vehicle as well as my vehicle. I have them at family's house. I have it at friend's house. They're everywhere. So here's a little peek inside. What I normally do is I take my lights out of their original packaging and I put them in Ziploc bags. That is just to make things easy for me. It's so that storing them's easier. Everything is clear. I can see through everything so I can quickly, you know, gauge what I'm looking at. Sometimes I'll keep notes, you know. Um, so yeah, so let's say this one. Grab a light. I see that's a Phoenix. I can actually look at the actual light to see what it is. This one happens to be a PD35. I can see that through the bag, but sometimes I'll see the paperwork that's in there. Uh, if the light comes with any accessories, sheath, um, extra O-rings, buttons, all that kind of stuff, it is all in here. All right, so this is partly how I store my flashlights. All right, let's take a look at the other bin. Now here's the other bin. There's a lot of screw nights on top here. Big lights, small lights, you can see though. Ziploc bags, original paperwork for reference. Um, original charging cables, if they come with, uh, you know, any kind of battery, sometimes I'll take the batteries out. In this particular case, I do store them with the batteries in the lights, so it's kind of grab and go. Because again, in my particular case, I'm constantly rotating through these to uh, compare to each other. Uh, in your case, if you're not reviewing them or testing them constantly, I would recommend taking the batteries out, all right, for long-term storage. But yeah, this is just the easiest way to do this, you know, for me. Um, most weapons lights, I have a couple in here for, for testing, but weapons style lights, you know, that are mountable, I keep those in a separate location. Um, these are mostly EDC lights. I mean, anything from a single AAA, you know, button cell, pen light, all the way up to 18650s, 21700s, and so forth. All right, so here's T, uh, TW20, for example. And this one does have the uh, weapons mount on it, but that's only because I was recently testing it. So yeah, this is just a little glimpse into my flashlight world. Like I said, with knives, I have them everywhere. I have all kinds of storage cases and stuff, but these big bins, you know, with Ziploc bags is the best way that i found to do it for me, at least so I can quickly find what I'm looking for and, uh, you know, take them out for testing. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the people who uh, wondered about storage. This is just another way to do it. But there's a million ways to do it. I know a lot of people do like the original packaging and stuff. You can stack boxes just as easily probably in these bins. It's just for me. These Ziploc bags work great so I can quickly see what's going on so I can grab what I need. For most people, you don't need to quickly see what, what everything is. You can kind of, you know, take more time to go through it and look at the outside of the boxes. If that was the case, you know, at the end of the box, you just write specifically what it is so you can, you know, if you have them stacked up or something somewhere, you can just quickly, you know, assess what's what. So, anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.